Hello guys and welcome to my second IOTA support tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to run the GUI in the full node mode. And uh, I already installed the GUI as you can see here. I decided on startup that I want to run it in the full node mode. And uh, I'm going to show you what you need in order to get this going. So there are two requirements for a full node. A you will need a static IP address and I will show you how to get one for free. And B, you will need a computer that runs nearly 24 hours per day as you want to stay synchronized with the network. Now, in order to get a static IP address, you simply navigate to noip.com and uh, you want to sign up with a new account. You want to create a new free account as that account will come with a host name or a DNS name with which you then can connect with your future neighbors um, in the GUI. So just create that free account. You don't want the newsletters probably. Um, you need to verify your email address, of course. And then when you log in, you will see the following window. And I just navigated here to host names. And you can see the host name that you chose on sign up. And what is important, you see the expiration here. Now with a free account, your host name will expire, in this case, after 26 days. And uh, if you don't um, log in after 26 days and uh, press I want to continue with that host name, then it will simply expire. And that is bad as you want a stable connection to your neighbors all the time. Now you have two options. Option one is use the free account and log in every 26 days. Or option two is you simply upgrade your account and uh, pay, I think it is 24 bucks a year. So not really much. And then you have, then you don't have to care about that one for one year. Furthermore, you will need to download the dynamic DNS update client called DUC for your system in order to get noip.com working completely. So what does that DUC do is it checks your IP address if that changes and if it does, it connects again with your host name. So basically, it makes that your host name always uh, points to your computer, no matter what IP address that one has. And simply download that for your system and install it. I won't do that now, but you will have to fill in some noip.com information from your account when you want to configure the whole thing. And what you need to do is basically you need to leave that running in the background of your computer in order to always stay connected with your noip.com service. And uh, that is needed for Yota in the end to synchronize with your neighbors. Now that you have your noip.com account, you have your DNS name and you got the noip duc running in the background with all necessary information from your noip account you can have a closer look at the gui under tools and uh, edit neighbors you will have to enter neighbors in order to to your full node to synchronize with the network through these the question is now how do you get neighbors so first of all Go to a text editor and uh, create the following. You will need UDP slash slash and now you will enter your DNS name, in this case moodle.hopto.org and now you simply add the default port under which your GUI will be receiving uh, yeah, transactions from your neighbors. So in this case, this is 14600. As this is the default port, this of course can be changed by going to tools and edit node configuration and you will see all the ports that Yoda needs and you can change them there. Now that you've created this, you can go to Slack into the node sharing channel and ask people there if they want to become your neighbors. What is important, don't reveal this publicly. You only want to reveal this to your future neighbors. So if there is someone who wants to be your neighbor, uh, set up a personal message and tell him, hey man, uh, this is my DNS name, uh, please add it to your neighbor list. And in return, 
you will have to add his DNS or IP to your GUI too, otherwise the connection doesn't work. So let's say his name is Thomas and Thomas provides you with the following DNS name. In this case, uh, let's say thomas.hopto.org and Thomas is running the GUI on 14265 on this port. And um, yeah, in order to connect with Thomas, you will need to copy this and put it into your GUI. Now, how does that work? Simply navigate to Tools and Edit Neighbors in the GUI, and uh, this screen will pop up. And it says, add nodes in the following format, one per line, UDP, the IP or DNS name here, and the port on which uh, your neighbors run Yoda. So in this case, we simply copy the DNS name over that Thomas gave us. And uh, yeah, now if you click save, the GUI will restart and you are connected with Thomas in, um, given that he added you to, to, your to his neighbor list. You probably don't want only one neighbor. You need around seven to nine preferably. Uh, so if you need if you found more neighbors, you can add them one per line, as you see down there. You can just do UDP, and uh, what is possible too is that they give you an actual IP address. So maybe this, and uh, let's say they run it. This neighbor runs Skoda on port 88, and uh, you simply can go on like this until you have the necessary amount of neighbors. Of course, then you can simply click save and uh, well of course this isn't working now as I didn't provide valid uh, DNS and IPs. Now what you want to do is you want to go to uh, view and you want to actually show the status bar. The status bar sadly you can't see this in the video as it gets cut out by default sadly uh, but it is down below here, below the lock-in screen, a gray little area where you see the CPU usage and some numbers will pop up there. And it, these numbers show whether you are synchronized with the network or not. If these numbers match down here uh, b below the lock-in, and they match the number shown in the Slack channel called Botbox, then you are synchronized with the network and ready to go and, make, and you can make transactions, generate addresses and all the stuff that you want to do. But if you're not synchronized and that number is below the number that gets shown in the Botbox, then you still have to wait for your node to catch up with the network in order to work with it. So, I hope this tutorial was useful to you guys. Um, as you know, there's already a video up that shows the basic GUI functions itself, where I used the light node. But as it doesn't matter there if you use a light node or a full node, feel free to check out that video if you need any help on making transactions or addresses. A short notice, um, on the last video, a lot of people asked, where is the seed generator? Um, after I created that first video, the seed generator was edited out by the developers for security reasons. And uh, so what I advise you now is you simply do a seed from scratch. And uh, always remember to take 81 characters as this is providing maximum security and you definitely need that with Yoda. I hope you enjoyed and uh, stay tuned for more.